I'm grateful to Vanessa and the Bryan family for the opportunity to speak today. I'm grateful to be here to honor Gigi and celebrate the gift that Kobe gave us all. What he accomplished as a basketball player, as a businessman and a storyteller, and as a father. In the game of basketball, in life, as a parent, Kobe left nothing in the tank. He left it all on the floor. Maybe it surprised people that Kobe and I were very close friends. But we were very close friends. Kobe was my dear friend. He was like a little brother. Everyone always wanted to talk about the comparisons between he and I. I just wanted to talk about Kobe. This kid had passion like you would never know. It's, a, it's an amazing thing about passion. If you love something, if you have a strong passion for something, you would go to the extreme to, to try to understand or try to get it. What Kobe Bryant was to me was the inspiration that someone truly cared about the way I either I played the game or the way that he wanted to play the game. He wanted to be the best basketball player that he could be. And as I got to know him, I wanted to be the best big brother that I could be. To do that, you have to put up with the aggravation, the late night calls, or the dumb questions. I took great pride as I got to know Kobe Bryant that he was just trying to be a better person, a better basketball player. We talked about business. We talked about family. We talked about everything. And he was just trying to be a better person. I remember maybe a couple of months ago, he sends me a text and he's saying, I'm trying to teach my daughter some moves. And I don't know what I was thinking or what I was working on, but what, would you, what were you thinking about when you were trying to, as you were growing up, trying to work on your moves? But the thing about him was we could talk about anything that related to basketball, but we can talk about anything that related to life. And we, as we grow up in life, rarely have friends that we can have conversations like that. Well, it's even rare when you can grow up against adversaries and have conversations like that. After basketball, he showed a creative side to himself that I didn't think any of us knew he had. In retirement, he seemed so happy. He found new passions, and he continued to give back as a coach in his community. More importantly, he was an amazing dad, amazing husband, who dedicated himself to his family and who loved his daughters with all his heart. When Kobe Bryant died, a piece of me died. And as I look in this arena and across the globe, a piece of you died, or else you wouldn't be here. Those are the memories that we have to live with and we learn from. I promise you, from this day forward, I will live with the memories of knowing that little brother that I tried to help in every way I could. Please, rest in peace, little brother.